our wall sit. Today's wall sit, we're doing four minutes, 10 seconds. Remember, go as low as you can. If you need to take a break, please take a break. This can tend to make your knees hurt a little bit more than you want them to. So, I have my timer ready. I'm gonna go ahead and squat down and as low as I wanna go, lower back is against the wall. Let's start. So, whew, how was your Thanksgiving day? I had a great day. I wanna just tell you that I ate, um, it was really weird because I actually ate home. I ate the meals I fixed. Um, I had more vegetables, I took my own tips. I ate more vegetables than anything else. I had three different types of green vegetables um, along with uh, my homemade cornbread dressing and um, chicken and also I had a little peach cobbler. Now here's the thing, I ate at lunch yesterday and my body's not really used to the, all the extra butter and sugar um, I ate at lunch, was I ate at 12 o'clock. I was invited to someone else's house and we ate I think at 4.35 o'clock. But believe it or not, I was full. I was still full from lunch. So I ate like, when I tell you I ate a little bit of everything, I mean, I had a kid's, but not even a kid, I had like a toddler plate size food. <laughs> I ate a little bit of everything that was there. It was very good, it was delicious. I just could not eat a lot of food because the food I ate earlier was still, it still had me full from earlier. So then I had one more house to visit. Oh my goodness. So people were laughing because I would take like a little bitty thin slice of cake <laughs> or like um, instead of taking something whole, I just only have like a very little bit of that thing, whatever it was. So that's how I kind of mastered yesterday. Um, the one thing I do want to say is don't get on the scale today. So bypass that. Why, why would you look at a scale anyway when you know you have gained weight? I know some people are like, well, I want to see, we're halfway, almost halfway done. I want to see how much I've gained. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Just today, get back on track, right? It's a new day. Put all the leftovers up. Don't eat any leftovers today if you want to stay on track and you want to lose that weight that you gained yesterday. So really the weight gain has come from the extra carbs, the extra sugar, all the extra sodium, probably um, water retention, right? So today is the best day to get back on track. Start putting your vegetables in, get you some fresh fruit, cut back on your carbs, no dessert. You had dessert yesterday, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to jump back in and start pushing. I like to say, eat your vegetables and push all that food back out. Drink your water and help push the sodium out. So I will be doing the same thing today. And as you see, we've already gotten back on track by working out. So we have a minute left, so hold on tight. Again, if you need to take a break, stand up um, and jump back in. I am having an awesome um, sale from today until Monday or Tuesday, like Monday midnight. Um, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. I have 25% off on my coaching packages, which is huge. $90 for four weeks of accountability coaching. And my clients are loving it. I'm excited for them. They're reaching their goals. And um, I have a new clothing item. I have a jacket for the Fin Over 40 clothing line, or the Fin Over uh, clothing line. So that's on sale. You buy one clothing item, you get one mug for free. And then my book is out. And so um, we have 10 seconds. My book is out and it's 10% off. I'm so excited about the book. Um, I want everyone to buy it and get it, of course. So be on the lookout for my post about that. Time's up, let's stand up. Great job, everyone. We set this for our other challenge. If I can get it to set right, okay. So now, we're ending with our tone it up challenge. We might as well start standing up before we get to the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and do 
our squats. You're not going to believe how many squats we have to do today. Let me just double check. 10 squats. So let's do our squats first. We'll do our burpees next. 10 squats. Let's go down, up, one. Sit back. Don't forget. Down, two. Sit back, three. Your feet are flat on the floor. You're squeezing as you're standing. That's six. That's seven. Knees don't go over your toes. That's eight. I can do this. That's nine. Look how far I go. Woo! That's ten. Great job. Now, we are doing ten burpees. Let's get started. I've shown you so many alternatives to burpees, right? You do what you see fit for you to do. I think I'm going to try and do all 10 full burpees, which means I'm going to be out of breath at the end, but I'm going to do it, and you should join me. But let's get started. Down, back, push up. One. Down, back. Two. Remember to breathe. And three. Down, jump back. Four, down, jump back. Five, we're halfway through. We got four more. That's seven. That's eight. Squeeze your ass. 
five, squeeze your butt. And three, two, one, that's it. Okay, everyone, so I'm excited. We made it through. Y'all are doing a great job. Only five days left, and we start a new challenge December 1st. I hope you're going to join me. Let's take this year out with a bang. Woo! Y'all are doing good. So find me on social media, Facebook at Shibby Williams, Instagram at LBX Fitness, one word. Twitter is LBX Fitness, two words, and so is Pinterest. My website address is www dot leading by example dot us go there click on the sales link for today's awesome sales i will see you tomorrow for day 26. bye everyone